Hey, welcome and thanks for using Tastry. I'm Nolan, I'm the co-founder of Rad Collab and we make apps on TikTok with our community. This is our first app and it came from a comment and all of the feature ideas came from a comment as well. And here's a little bit of a walkthrough so that you guys can see all the detailed features if you want. Otherwise, just press the plus button and you'll be able to add lists, tabs, and tasks. So Tastry allows you to create tasks, sort them into lists, style those lists in different layouts and colors, and then sort those lists into tabs. Before we can start creating tasks, we need to create our first list. By pressing the plus button at the bottom of each tab, you'll be able to create new tabs, lists, or widgets. Lists have a lot of customization. You can name it, control the layout, change the color of tasks, and decide what overdue tasks look like. Currently, there's three layouts, a checklist, and then two types of card sliders. Let's go with the checklist for now. This list has been dropped into my general tab. When there's multiple lists, you can simply tap on the list name and hold for a second. Then you'll be able to drag to sort your lists around. Once we've got our list, we can add tasks. You can simply add a name to a task, or you can add lots of additional data points to each task. You can add an icon, control the frequency, set a date or time, and a duration. None of these data points are required, so you can make each task fit anything from a planned event to a morning routine. Note that you can't control the color of each task. It's set from the list level. Moving tasks around is very easy. Simply tap and hold for a second on a task. You can rearrange tasks or move tasks from one list to another. Also, when you complete tasks or you plan tasks for the future, they will be placed inside the future and completed toggles. If you want to see tasks that are in the future, you simply tap on the calendar icon for each individual list. If you want to see all of your completed tasks that you did inside of that list, you can tap on the check mark. So let me paint you the picture of how I personally use my task tree so you can decide for yourself how to build your dashboard. My leftmost tab is my planning section. It's where I plan out the next few days of my tasks. I have a list called next up. That's today's tasks. I write out all that I have to do, give each a duration and sort them by importance. The things that I want to do today, but probably won't be able to, goes inside of my upcoming list. Then things that I know that I won't get to today goes into my later list. The rest of my tabs are focused on projects. Each tab is a project. I think this is really the beauty of Tastry. The fact that things are so flexible, your dashboard should really be looked at as a living document. I delete lists and tabs almost every day because I'm adding new things that I need to tackle and I wanna break it into smaller pieces so that I can plan around it. When I create a tab based on a project, I usually map out the milestones. Whether it's pieces of the project or just weeks inside of that project, I write out all of the tasks that go inside each of those milestones. When I'm ready to work on it, I move it into my next up list and then mark it off. Then when a list is empty, I delete it. There's a lot more features to Tastry and there's also a lot of updates coming, but these should get you started on your journey. Hope that this allows you to be more productive. And if you're not following us, head over to underscore rad collab on TikTok to join in on the community.